Hey, Shannon. It is going all right. Cleanup is going all right, thanks. We are kind of stalled out at the moment. It, uh, now it's just making sure that we don't need to do any repairs to the rooms and then getting stuff cleaned up and put back in. So we're in good shape, thanks. Uh, how's the pup? Hey, Leonard. Julia T. Good. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. William Leg. Hey, Scott and Kathy, good to see you. Let's see. So this evening, being Wednesday, it's evening prayer right two. Hey, Judith, evening prayer right two. We will begin on page 116. Hey, Rev. Page 116, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry. We humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. <clears throat> O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. On page 118, let us pray the Phos Hilaron together. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now, as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O Giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Hey, Sue. Hey, Jenny. Good to see you all. Our psalms for this evening are 81 and 82, and they begin on page 704. Psalms 81 and 82, page 704. When you get there, let's read through those together. <clears throat> and as you're flipping around, don't forget to hit that share button down on the bottom of your screen. Let other folks know what's going on and, and join us in praying as well.
Psalms 81 and 82. Sing with joy to God our strength, and raise a loud shout to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the merry harp, and the lyre. Blow the ram's horn at the new moon, and at the full moon, the day of our feast. For this is a statute for Israel, a law of the God of Jacob. He laid it as a solemn charge upon Joseph when he came out of the land of Egypt. I heard an unfamiliar voice saying, I eased his shoulder from the burden. His hands were set free from bearing the load. You called on me in trouble and I saved you. I answered you from the secret place of thunder and tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, if you would but listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you. You shall not worship a foreign god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt and said, Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. And yet my people did not hear my voice, and Israel would not obey me. So I gave them over to the stubbornness of their hearts, to follow their own devices. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I should soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe before him, and their punishment would last forever. But Israel would I feed with the finest wheat and satisfy him with honey from the rock. God takes his stand in the council of heaven. He gives judgment in the midst of the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and show favor to the wicked? Save the weak and the orphan. Defend the humble and needy. Rescue the weak and the poor. Deliver them from the power of the wicked. They do not know, neither do they understand. They go about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. Now I say to you, you are gods, and all of you children of the Most High. Nevertheless, you shall die like mortals, and fall like any prince. Arise, O God, and rule the earth, for you shall take all nations for your own. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second scripture reading continues <clears throat> the story of Joseph and his family coming from Genesis. Hey, Karen, good to see you. This is Genesis 45, verses 16 through 28. <clears throat> the story was reported in Pharaoh's palace. Joseph's brothers have come. It was good news to Pharaoh and all who worked with him. Pharaoh said to Joseph, Tell your brothers, this is the plan. Load up your pack animals. Go to Canaan. Get your father and your families and bring them back here. I'll settle you on the best land in Egypt. You'll live off the fat of the land. And also tell them this. Here's what I want you to do. Take wagons from Egypt to carry your little ones and your wives and load up your father and come back. Don't worry about having to leave things behind. The best in all of Egypt will be yours. And they did just that, the sons of Israel. Joseph gave them the wagons that Pharaoh had promised and food for the trip. He outfitted all the brothers in brand new clothes, but he gave Benjamin 300 pieces of silver and several suits of clothes. He sent his father these gifts, 10 donkeys loaded with Egypt's best products and another 10 donkeys loaded with grain and bread, provisions for his father's journey back. Then he sent his brothers off. As they left, he told them, take it easy on the journey and try to get along with each other. They left Egypt and went back to their father Jacob in Canaan. When they told him Joseph is still alive and he's the ruler over the whole land of Egypt. He went numb. He couldn't believe his ears. But the more they talked, telling him everything that Joseph had told them, and when he saw the wagons that Joseph had sent to carry him back, the blood started to flow again. Their father, Jacob's spirit, revived. He said, I've heard enough. My son Joseph is still alive. I've got to go and see him before I die. The word of the Lord. Our canticle for this evening is on page 87. It is canticle 11. When you get there, we'll pray through this together. Page 87, canticle 11. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. 
For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation, and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We continue on page 120 with the Apostles' Creed. When you get there, let us pray together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. My friends, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We will pray suffrages A tonight. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body, and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Here's a prayer from the New Zealand prayer book. Gracious God, you have given us much today. Grant us also a thankful spirit. Into your hands we commend ourselves and those we love. Be with us still, and when we take our rest, renew us for the service of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. On page 124 is a collect for the presence of Christ. <clears throat> Let's pray that together. Page 124. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope, that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, I invite your thanksgivings and intercessions, silently or aloud.
I give you thanks, Father, for everyone gathered here. I give you thanks for the beautiful weather today. I ask that you will just hold close those um, those in our midst who are struggling, who are ill, uh, and for the concerns that we have in our hearts. Uh, we just lift them up to you. And I give you thanks for the many good things on our hearts as well, the many ways that you have helped and supported us throughout the day. Please may we be filled with your joy and given rest tonight. Amen. Our final prayer is on page 126, the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Let us pray that together. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Spirit. Amen. Well, it's Wednesday, friends, so Deacon Sue will have you hooked up with Compline at 8 o'clock tonight. And then tomorrow, Julia Tyson will have your evening prayer all ready to go at 6.30. Blessings, friends.